Hi, hello everyone. Welcome to Vikas Commerce Tutorials once again with Dharthi Kale. So now I am bringing you with the six marks important questions of second PUC economics for the annual exam which is going to be held on 13th of uh, March 2025. So today's date is 11th. So we have two days that is 11 and 12. After this six marks I will also upload <clears throat> four marks category also so no need not worry and i will also upload two marks as well as practical oriented questions as well as passing packages as well as 80 out of 80 strategies now i have at present i am taking a revised question bank which was for 2024 and 25 many of the students ask me sir whether the new questions that is revised question banks questions will they appear in question and will they appear in exam yes definitely they may appear because uh, when we see the accountancy and the business study <clears throat> question papers of this year, we have observed that revised question bank questions have been come in the papers. So that is why revised question banks are very important. From revised question banks, I will uh, come with six marks categories. See, you need to pause the video and note down the important questions. This is just a revised question bank PDF. Many of the students also ask me send to send the PDF. There is no any PDF as such. This is the PDF of revised question bank. At the most, I can send the revised question bank PDF. But say now important questions, you need, to, you need to pause the video and note down the six marks important questions. Okay. So coming to, there are two parts here. Part one is microeconomics and part two is macroeconomics. Coming to microeconomics, there is first chapter which is of introduction. We don't have any six marks questions from there. So directly I will come to chapter number two that is theory of consumer behavior. So coming to theory of consumer behavior, here one of the important question for six marks category is, uh, let us see, okay, here there are eight questions of six marks from theory of consumer behavior and let me tell you my dear friends, theory of consumer behavior is one of the most and most important chapter whereas 20 marks has been allotted to this chapter. You may consider any of the blueprint among the three blueprints 20 marks has been allotted to this chapter. So this is one of the most important chapter here. Four marks as well as six marks questions are been allotted. So first of all, let us discuss the six marks questions. One of the most important question is explain the law of diminishing marginal utility with the help of table and diagram. This question has been repetitive for many, many years and it has also been asked in model question paper also. Uh, that is law of diminishing marginal utility. And another important question here is indifference curve. For four marks category, they have asked indifference curve only diagrams, but here they are asking futures. So features have been also asked for indifference curve. So this is one of the most important questions. Two questions from this chapter. One is law of diminishing marginal utility and illustrate the features of difference curve, indifference curve. That is question number two. And another important question from this chapter, because this is 20 marks chapter, Fourth question will also be very important. That is explain the optimal choice of consumer with the help of the diagram. So I opt question number one, question number one, question number two and question number four. So these are three important questions which also appear in model question papers, which were also in the last year's question paper. Okay. So these are the six marks important questions from chapter number one. Coming to next chapter, that is chapter number uh, three, production and cost. So this is also one of the important chapter. Coming to production and cost, six marks category. We will directly jump to six marks category. Yes, one of the most important question of this ch chapter is uh, explain various short run costs. Short runs are usually short term in nature. So which are the various short run costs? You need to explain those costs. There are approximately four to five types of costs. I will also come with the answers if time permits. So one of the important question from this chapter and another important question is uh, question number six. This is a calculative type question, problem solving question. I will also make a video on this problem solving questions also with answers. Whereas firm's SMC schedule is given here. Uh, total fixed cost is also given that is 100 rupees. Total fixed cost is also given that is 100 rupees. You need to find TVC, total variable cost, total cost, average variable cost, semi-average cost. So you need to find those four costs which are for six marks. So this is important question that is question number four and question number five. Study these two important questions. And also if time permits, if you want to score 80 out of 80, go for question number three also. Not that important, but just highlight it once. That is question number three. They have already given average product of labor. You need to find total product and marginal product, which is very, very dead easy. They might not ask, but if they ask, there is a bonus. 
बट मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर एंड क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्स कमिंग टू नेक्स्ट चैप्टर दैट इज चैप्टर नंबर फोर थियरी ऑफ फॉर्म अंडर परफेक्ट कॉम्पिटिशन अकॉर्डिंग टू मी आई ओनली गेस ओनली वन ऑफ द इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन हियर दैट इज क्वेश्चन नंबर वन टोटल रेवेन्यू एंड एवरेज रेवेन्यू दे आर स्पीकिंग अबाउट टोटल रेवेन्यू एंड एवरेज रेवेन्यू यू नीड टू एक्सप्लेन अबाउट टोटल रेवेन्यू एज वेल एज एवरेज रेवेन्यू नॉट ओनली एक्सप्लेन यू नीड ऑल्सो गिव विथ डायग्राम्स विथ डायग्राम्स यू नीड टू एक्सप्लेन अबाउट टोटल रेवेन्यू एंड एवरेज रेवेन्यू दैट इज क्वेश्चन नंबर वन and uh, there is no such important questions which are looking here we can also guess for four marks but for six marks i refer only this one question because other four questions have never been asked in the model question papers also or in the annual exam question papers also coming to chapter number 5 that is market equilibrium most important chapter market equilibrium coming to six marks categories of market equilibrium yes here again there is one of the problematic type question that is uh the demand and supply has been given qd that is quantity demand equation they have given 250 minus p and quantity supply 150 minus p you need to substitute the four options equilibrium price should be found equilibrium quantity of demand and supply has to be found and c and d again i will solve this uh, in a separate video session where that video session will consist of problem solving questions of economics subject okay and another important question is chapter number uh, sorry question number 1 itself market equilibrium and the number of firms are fixed in the market with the help of diagram that is question number 1 and question number 2 from market equilibrium these are the two important questions okay coming to next chapter that is next uh, part part b part b consists of macro economics so macro economics again first chapter we have introduction there is no any six marks or important questions from introduction coming to most important chapter that is national income accounting which consists of 17 marks according to the blueprint national income accounting has 17 marks so this is also one of the most important chapter so from this chapter uh, important questions to be considered are yes yes i get 6 marks here okay very important uh, very and very most important that is vip question number 3 many of the times it has been asked macroeconomic identities explain the macroeconomic identities you need to explain these also and also i guess another important uh, question from this chapter is limitations of using gdp that is question number 6 yes here we have in the next page question number 6 explain the limitations of using gdp what are the limitations of using gdp as an index of welfare of the country so these are the two important questions question number 3 and question number 6 If you wants to still study another questions, do I don't refer question number five, four, question number two also. No, but I refer if you want, if time permits, you can go for question number one. Otherwise, leave it. Just question number three and question number six. Coming to next chapter, that is money and banking chapter number three. Here for six marks category, I will go for uh, the story of Goldsmith Lala, uh, creation of commercial bank story of Goldsmith Lala. One of the important questions. So study these questions. Also go for functions of money. functions of money is a very simple and a common sense question general knowledge question uh, and also they have asked another question here how does money overcome the shortcomings of a barter system so this is also one of the important question that is functions of money and another important question goldsmith lala the story of goldsmith lala and coming to next chapter that is uh, chapter number 5 sorry 4 determination of income and employment uh, from determination of income and employment i don't guess any of the six marks questions because only three questions have been given they haven't uh, asked um, in the sense uh, the three questions which are appearing on your screen these three questions have never been asked in model question papers or else in the annual exam question papers but still if you want to study you can go for paradox of thrift and this has been also asked for one mark or two marks category in the model question papers paradox of thrift if you have time you can go for paradox of thrift and then coming to government budget and the economy that is chapter number 5 from chapter number 5 for six marks category uh yes here we have four marks ah we have four questions here which are on your screen so go for uh, classification of expenditure classification of receipts any one of the question may be asked but still Uh, we don't have we do. if you want to take risk you can go for uh, public expenditure classification of expenditure then another important question impact of changes in tax question number 3 question number 2 and question number 3 i guess these are the important questions of 
चैप्टर नंबर फाइव दैट इज गवर्नमेंट बजट एंड इकोनॉमी कमिंग टू लास्ट चैप्टर दैट इज ओपन इकोनॉमी मैक्रो इकोनॉमिक्स फ्रॉम ओपन इकोनॉमी मैक्रो इकोनॉमिक्स आई डोंट सेंस एनी सिक्स मार्क्स क्वेश्चन देर आर ओनली फाइव क्वेश्चन विच हैव नेवर बीन आज बट स्टिल इफ यू वॉन्ट टू स्टिल स्टडी यू कैन गो फॉर बी ओ पी दैट इज बैलेंस ऑफ पेमेंट्स फ्रॉम फोर मार्क्स अगेन फ्रॉम फोर मार्क्स कैटेगरी वी कैन स्टडी दो क्वेश्चन बट फ्रॉम सिक्स मार्क्स आई डोंट थिंक एनी ऑफ द इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन बट यू कैन ऑल्सो स्टिल गो फॉर क्वेश्चन नंबर वन सो दिस आर वन ऑफ द इंपॉर्टेंट सिक्स मार्क्स क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम वेरियस चैप्टर गो फॉर चैप्टर नंबर टू थेरी ऑफ कंज्यूमर बिहेवियर एंड नेशनल इनकम अकाउंटिंग दिस आर दू मेन चैप्टर्स okay from uh, theory of consumer behavior you can go for law of diminishing marginal utility optimal choice of consumer from national income accounting go for macroeconomic identities and limitations of using gdp from money and banking go for goldsmith lala story functions of money from production and cost there is one problem solving question i will solve it and also from uh, market equilibrium there is one uh, problem solving i will also make a video on it then uh, coming to government uh, budget and economy expenditure and receipts classification of expenditure and receipts if you study both that is very very good if you want to score 80 out of 80 go for those both questions okay so these are some of the important uh, six marks questions and i will also come later with two marks questions four marks questions practical oriented questions problem solving questions match the following multiple choice fill in the blanks however your exam is day after tomorrow today i will complete this long question that is 6 marks and 4 marks and 2 marks tomorrow onwards we will just study the theoretical question sorry the project oriented questions that is poq which is for 10 marks there are approximately 5 to 6 questions that 5 to 6 questions we will study in the next classes also so i hope you are doing good and uh, preparation is going well so i wish all the very best for your exam so i will come up with 4 marks category later thank you for watching vikas commerce tutorials thank you